everyone, I hope you're well and you've all had a lovely sunny weekend. I hope you've all eaten lots of yummy ice cream or ice lollies, you've been in the paddling pool, you've been helping mummies and daddies with the gardening, you've been on bike rides or walks, walking your dogs. I hope you've done lots of great things. So it's a new week this week, so the beginning of the week is a Monday. So it's Monday today. And it's another lovely sunny day, so get out there and enjoy it. Right, so we've got one big shout out. We've got a hello to Izzy Wizzles. So Izzy has been extra, extra, extra busy and she sounds like she's had the best time. So she has been busy playing, colour matching, eating yummy ice creams, cycling her bike in Siren Park. Uh, she has learned how to sheep and chicken herd keeping those pesky sheep and chicken away from her mummy's newly planted hedge and she has uh, she's also extra excited because there is a swarm of bees that has just filled her empty beehive so the beehive is where the where the bees live their little house and now it's all full of bees that means that next year they're going to get lots of yummy honey so that, well we hope so fingers crossed so that sounds amazing is he wow we Right, let's move on to our story of today. We got Shaggy Dog and the Terrible Itch. Right, oh, are you ready? Oh, there's a cheeky flea there, I think. Okay. Shaggy Dog had an itch on his back. He scratched against the tree, but still itchy. Oh, poor shaggy dog. Oh look, Izzy, there's one of your sheep. <laughs> Will you scratch my back? Shaggy dog asked Mimi the poodle. Ugh, said Mimi. Scratch your back? No thank you. I'm up to the poodle parlour for a wash and a trim. I will scratch your back, said Farmer Gertie. But first you must help me round up my sheep. Well, that could be Farmer Izzy. The sheep were hiding and it took ages to find them. Woof, woof, barked Shaggy Dog. Come here, sheep, come here now. At last the sheep were locked up in their pen. Farmer Izzy used her curly crook to scratch Shaggy Dog's back. Ooh, said Shaggy Dog, that's much better. But as Shaggy Dog walked into town, oh no, the itch came back. Shaggy Dog knocked on the window of Merv's cafe. Who will scratch the itch from my back, he asked. I will, said Merv, but first you must wash my pots and pans. Shaggy Dog washed towers and towers of pots and pans. Bubbles covered his legs and got into his mouth. And when he finished, his paws were all wrinkly. Who's had a bath and if they've been in there for a long time in warm water, their fingers and their toes go all wrinkly or the skin? That's what's happened to Shaggy Dog. Merv used a long fork to scratch Shaggy Dog's back. Oh, oh, said Shaggy Dog, that's much better. But when Shaggy Dog left the cafe, oh no, what do we think? The itch came back. Shaggy Dog popped into Mary Lou's poodle parlour. Will you scratch the itch from my back, asked Shaggy Dog. Okay, said Mary Lou, but only if you brush up all the fur on the floor. Shaggy Dog brushed up mountains and mountains of poodle hair. Oh my word. Fur got up his nose and when he had finished he had fur in his ears and his eyes too. Achoo! 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 He sneezed. Shaggy Dog shook out all the fur and Mary Lou used the poodle brush to scratch his back. Oh, 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 said Shaggy Dog. That's much, much, much better. But when Mary Lou stopped scratching, the itch came back. What can I do, asked Shaggy Dog. Sit in the chair, said Mary Lou. I'll wash and trim you. The bubbly shampoo soothed Shaggy Dog's back. Oh, 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 said Shaggy Dog. The poodle scissors tickled and went snip, snip, snippity, snip. Hee, 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 giggled Shaggy Dog. When Mary Lou had finished trimming, Shaggy Dog's fur... Shaggy Dog found wonderful! And look, who's in that bubble floating away? I think that's the cheeky flea. I think finally he's, he's rid of the cheeky flea that was making him itch. 
Lisa, it should gone at last. Uh oh, but who who is it floating over towards? <gasps> but where did it go? Oh no! It went on Mimi the poodle. <laughs> Boing! There's a cheeky flay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny one, isn't it? So, I hope you all have a lovely day and do send me pictures and updates of what you've all been up to because I'm missing you all lots and lots and I cannot wait to get back to nursery and do lots of lovely playing with you all and we can go for picnics and have the sprinklers out, veg pick. We can do lots of fun things, can't we? And I was also thinking about we need to get a slip and slide for the big hill, don't we? And we did that last year and we went really fast down the big hill. That would be perfect. So we've got to think happy thoughts about when we're all going to be back together again. So I will see you all on Wednesday for another story. Bye everyone. Have a nice day.